Hey there, friends. Nibs again. Out here in the garage doing a bit of goofing around today. Got a nice rainy, raw day outside today, so I'm going to keep it indoors and just play around inside. But I wanted to do another head-to-head -head challenge for you guys. I got a couple of fun ones. I got a brand new one. I just got it yesterday, and I've been playing around with it, and it's a lot of fun. And I wanted to give it its first head-to-head uh, -head, uh, tryout here. <clears throat> but what we have... The new one is the new Webley Nemesis uh, CO2 powered pellet gun and this one has a seven shot magazine and so we're going to do a seven shot head to head challenge but <laughs> kind of oddball but I brought this one out from the uh, from the archives this is one that was made probably in the early 70s uh, I believe that's the only time they were made, but this is a Ampel Acro 1, also known as a Plinkin Whiz. This is my 177 version to keep it uh, equal with the, the new Webley. And we'll go ahead and shoot seven rounds out of this one. This one's just a single shot, but uh, because the Webley has a seven shot magazine, we'll go ahead and do seven shots. And uh, I... <clears throat> the... Webley's the new one to the garage, obviously, so we'll shoot this one first. Uh, and I've got a couple of shooting C's down there. The orange dots are the orange dots are going to be ten, and then the next line out will be nine and eight and seven. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I did have to do a little bit of windage adjustment on this one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have elevation adjustment, and it is shooting a little bit high. So I'm going to try to compensate for that. So it'll give this guy the best chance to shoot a good score. So I am holding just under that orange dot and uh, still hitting a little bit high. Oh, my downrange cam uh, illumination battery is letting me know it's just about dead. Should have enough to uh, get us through the video, though. Was that five or four? I don't remember. This is this is a, actually a fun little gun. It's got a fantastic trigger. One more, one more. Starting to get the hang of the sights on this guy. So uh, I really like this one. Um, I, I was really kind of skeptical if I was going to like it or not because of the, um, that rattling here is this little, there's a single shot tray in this little door down here that uh, you can take that magazine and take it out and use it as a single shot as well. But uh, I like this magazine. It's pretty cool. I wasn't sure I was going to like it because I do have the older single-stroke pneumatic Webley Nemesis. And uh, that is an amazing gun. But this one, when you don't try to compare it to that one directly, this is a fun gun, a good shooting gun. And uh, it, it really is a lot of fun. So, And they're currently available and they're, they, they can be had for a reasonable price. So... Well, here is the old these were actually marketed in the united states by or in canada by shakespeare for a short time but uh ampel got the box for it up there i'm looking at it but ampel um distributed them in the united states for i believe a couple years in the early 70s uh, i really haven't been able to find a a ton of information on them but it's a good shooting little gun and uh We'll go ahead and see if uh, he can beat the the newcomer to the garage. All right, a little low. Gotta adjust for my 
this one's pretty interesting. It just that's better. Show you how this loads. So there's a little wheel back here. You twist that and pull it out. And then there's a little loading port right there. You drop your pellet in nose going forward, obviously. And then, of course, it didn't go in right that time. That's better. Push it in, push it in and turn it. And now there's a little knob right here. You click that forward and that sets the sear, the hammer, and it will hit the, uh, the CO2 valve. Alrighty, we're doing good. Ooh, that one pull off to the left a little bit. <clears throat> That's better. Looks like the Webley might uh, might have himself a first win. Just not haven't had a lot of practice with this guy in uh, recent times, so. Have a little trouble with this one getting the drop in there straight. There it goes. But it's all just fun, right? Yep, I think the Webley's going to get his first win. I had to get him a couple of confident confidence boosters before I put him up against the the uh, old old school nemesis. All right, that's not too bad looking. Let me go ahead and I'll uh, pause the camera and I'll add those up and I'll be right back with you. All righty, friends, I'm back. And uh, just as I had suspected, the, the Webley did pull it out, but the Ampel, he really, uh, he really held his own. It really was uh, not as far off as I thought it was gonna be. Um, the Ampel did a very nice, so there would, seven shots so it was a possible uh 70 so he did a really nice 64 and uh but the uh, <laughs> the webley he's uh he's got to make a name for himself out here he's got some big shoes to fill and uh had one one of those over there was a nine uh the rest of them were all ten so he shot almost a perfect score of uh 69 so really really uh pleased with that uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more goofing around with this guy and, and figure out uh, what pellets it really shoots the absolute best before I go ahead and put it up against the single stroke pneumatic nemesis. But I think this guy can uh, make a name for himself out here in the garage. It's a, it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, seems like a little bit of a gas hog. Uh, I get about 35 shots uh, before it really starts to peter out. But uh, not too bad, and uh, it's fun. It's got a threaded barrel, so I'm gonna try to find a little muzzle brake for it, and or uh, moderator, silencer, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to say silencer too loud here in New York. They ATF might come down and bust down my door, but <laughs> anyway, just fun. But uh, it's got a nice se seven shot, two two. Uh, sided seven shot magazine so it's actually a 14 shot magazine total but uh and then it also has down in the bottom a little single shot tray to uh if you feel like shooting it in single shot mode which i do like shooting the single shots as well or i, I wouldn't have that ampel right but he held his own i really find these ampels absolutely cool i have this is the 177 version. I have the 22 version, and I'm still shopping for the BB version, but I haven't found one that I'm willing to put my money down for yet. They, they're they much rarer, and they go for quite a bit more than... These ones are pretty rare anyway, but uh, they go for quite a bit more than even the, the pellet version. So, but Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, 
Have a great day.